Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is second grade, module eight, lesson nine. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue partitioning. Uh, we're gonna be doing fractions, but specifically, we're gonna be partitioning circles and rectangles uh, into equal parts. Uh, basically, we're gonna limit ourselves to halves, thirds, and fourths. So let's get started. So it might be uh, fair to first ask ourselves, you know, what is a fraction? So parents and teachers, the idea is uh, we want to, you know, like not make fractions a mystery and make it more complicated than it really is. So uh, at this point in second grade, we're going to be talking about halves, thirds, and fourths. And really, we're going to be talking about uh, fractions as partitions of a whole. So we're going to we're going to take a whole thing and in this case we're going to take a whole let's say a candy bar. So these are three candy bars. And we're going to cut those candy bars into equal pieces. So part of what a fraction is, if we're talking about halves, thirds and fourths, we need to be able to see equal pieces. So when we're talking about halves, that means we're talking about two equal pieces. Boom, right there. So halves, and I'm going to put a little two there. So halves means two equal pieces. Thirds, okay, so that means we're going to talk about three equal pieces. So we're going to take our candy bar and we're going to cut it into three equal pieces. So that's what thirds are. And by now, kids probably have it. You know, what are fourths? Well, the fourths means you're going to take that candy bar and you're going to cut it into four equal sized pieces. So parents and teachers, here's an easy way to teach your kids how to cut something into fourths. You begin by cutting it in half and then cut each half in half. Like that. So half of a half is a fourth, and we want kids to be able to say stuff like that. We, we want them to be able to understand that fourths means the, the candy bar is cut into four equal pieces, and the way we could do that is cut it in half and then cut each half in half. Now, I happen to choose uh, a model of uh, like tape diagrams, like candy bars, let's say, but we could have done it with circles as well. So parents and teachers, you might want to consider also doing the same thing with circles. Now, heads up, kids have a hard time cutting things into thirds when it's a circle. I mean, first off, they have a hard time cutting it into thirds, anything, uh, but especially with circles. So heads up on that. So now that our students have kind of like this understanding of halves, thirds, and fourths that we're talking about equal shares, now this problem is talking only about two equal shares. So we're talking about halves, aren't we? So halves. Uh, and then circle the shapes that have two equal shares with one shaded. So where's a half? Well, that's good. That's kind of like the candy bar. This guy's no good. Why not? Well, he's no good because they're two pieces, but they're not equal shares. This one, what about this one? Well, this one looks pretty equal. So I'm going to say yes, that is good. And I'm going to say this one looks pretty equal too. Two equal, two equal shares. And so there we go. So here they're kind of removing the scaffolding a little bit, teachers. And they're saying now you actually have to do the shading. So it says shade one half of the shapes that are split into two equal shares. Man, that's the big thing. Everything has to be equal. And the first one's been done for us. It's got two equal pieces and one has been shaded in. And so let's take a look. Um, this one, two, equal, uh, two pieces, but are they equal? Nope, they're not equal. So I'm going to go an extra step and I'm going to say, cross it off. He's no good. How about this one? Two pieces, yes, but are they equal? No. So we're going to cross it off. Hey, they're equal. They're all the same, but are, is it two equal pieces? No. So that's no good. So we're going to cross that off. And how about this one? Well, we've got two pieces. Are they equal? Yeah, they look to be equal. So we can shade in there, half. All right, so two pieces, they're equal. So let's shade in 
half. And you know, in both cases, I shaded in the top. I could have shaded in the bottom. It There's no important way of shading it in. So how about this one? Well, two pieces and they're equal. So let's shade it in like that. This is cut in two equal pieces. And lastly, this guy, two pieces, but they're not equal. So I'm gonna cross that guy off. They're removing the scaffolding even further because now we're responsible for drawing the lines. It says partition the shape to show halves and shade one half. So again, we need to remember that halves means we're cutting it into two pieces. So I'm just I'm gonna kind of do it quickly, but the neat thing, parents and teachers, is these problems, they have more than one right answer. So you get to celebrate the creativity of your students as long as they're doing it into two equal sized pieces. Enjoy the, the variety. So here, cut the, that circle in half. Man, this rectangle has a bazillion <laughs> different ways you could cut it in half. They're actually, in, in later grades, we'd call that lines of symmetry. It's, I think that's fourth grade. Uh, but man, we could cut it in half this way. We could cut it in half this way. That doesn't look like half, but that's pretty close, right? We could cut it in half this way. And we can cut it in half this way. So we get to choose however we do it. I'll do it this way because I think that's kind of typical. So there is, we cut it in half and we shade it in one half. And then the rest of these, you just keep going because there's they all have a bazillion different answers. Let your students enjoy their little time to be creative. And that wraps up second grade module 8 lesson 9 we are partitioning circles and rectangles into equal parts